welcome to Mastermind with me, John Humphreys. Tonight's specialist subjects, the creator of The Moomins, the richest British horse race, the singer who won an Oscar, and the biggest spy scandal of the last century. Four contenders have had a chance to mug up on their own subjects, but they have no idea what's coming in the two and a half minutes of general knowledge questions. At stake, a place in the semi-finals. So let's get on with it and ask our first contender to join us, please. And your name is? Sarah Turner. Your occupation? I'm a restaurant general manager. And your chosen subject? Chair. The American singer and actress sold more than 100 million records worldwide. Two minutes starting now. In 1971, Cher had her first solo number one single in the American charts with a song written by Bob Stone. What was it called? Gypsies, Tramps and Thieves. Yes. For which music producer did Cher provide backing vocals before she became a star? She sang on the Crystals, Da Do Ron Ron and the Righteous Brothers, You Lost That Loving Feeling. Phil Spector. Yes. What is the title of the single she released under the name Bonnie Jo Mason in 1964? Ringo, I Love You. Yep. Which 69 Cher album took its title from the address of the famous Muscle Shoals Sound Studio in Alabama where it was recorded? 3614 Jackson Highway. Yes. On what subsidiary label of Atlantic Records was Sonny and Cher's I Got You Babe released in the United States in 1965? It became a number one hit on both sides of the Atlantic. Atco. Yes. Cher married a rock star in Las Vegas a few days after the settlement of her divorce from Sonny Bono in June 1975. Who was he? Greg Allman. Yep. Cover versions of Eric Clapton's Bell Bottom Blues, Neil Young's Mr. Soul and Jackson Brown's These Days are featured on a 75 share album produced by Jimmy Webb. What's it called? Bittersweet White Light. Stars. Cher beat fellow nominees Glenn Close, Holly Hunter, Sally Kirkland and Meryl Streep to win the Oscar for Best Actress in 1988 for her performance as a widow in what film? Moonstruck. Yes. What's the title of the Cher song co-written with Giorgio Moroda that features on the soundtrack album of the film Foxes? Pass. In which sitcom did she make a cameo appearance in 2000? She plays herself and she's accused of being a Cher impersonator. Will and Grace. Yes. What are the forenames of Cher's son, who was a guitar player on her Heart of Stone concert tour of 1989 and 90, when he was 13 years old? Elijah Blue. Yep. In what category did she win her first Grammy at the 42nd Annual Grammy Awards for the song Believe? Pass. Cher directed and stars in the 1996 segment of a home box office cable film about abortion. What's the film called? If These Walls Could Talk. Yes. Which hit single has a video that features a scantily clad Cher dancing and singing on the deck of a US Navy ship in front of a crowd of cheering sailors? If I Could Turn Back Time. It is exactly right. You had two passes, Sarah. That um, category in which you won the Grammy, Best Dance Recording of the year, and the title of the Cher song co-written with uh, Maroda was Bad Love. You have scored, Sarah, 11 points. <laughs> and our next contender, please. name is Alastair Jones. Your occupation? Civil servant. And your chosen subject? The Cambridge Spy Ring. The uh, infamous group of spies who were recruited by the Soviet Union while they were at university in the 30s. Two minutes on them, starting now. Four of the five men, known collectively as the Cambridge Spy Ring, were educated at the same Cambridge University College. Which one? Trinity. Yep. Material from the defector Igor Gozenko revealed that Soviet intelligence had received atomic secrets from a scientist and contemporary of Donald McLean at Trinity. What was his name? Alan Nunmay. Yes. What was the real name of the spy who recruited Kim Philby during a meeting on a bench in Regent's Park? Philby only knew him by the code name Otto. Arnold Deutsch. Yes. What was the code name of the project of the US Army Security Agency that started to collect evidence of massive Soviet espionage in 1946? It was originally known as Bride. Venona. Yes. At the outbreak of the Second World War, John Cairncross was posted at the Cabinet Office as Private Secretary to a politician who was head of a committee that reviewed Britain's atomic programme. Who was he? Hankey. Yes. 
Guy Burgess got a job at the BBC with the help of a reference from a historian who stated that Burgess had passed through the communist measles that so many of our clever young men go through. Who was he? Trevelyan. Yes. Which section of MI6 was Philby promoted to head in 1944? It was charged with the collection and analysis of material on Soviet and communist espionage and subversion. Nine. Yes. Anthony Blunt left MI5 soon after the Second World War to take up a position that put him in charge of the Royal Art Collection. What position? Surveyor of the King's Pictures. Yes. What alias did Donald McLean use when he lived in Russia after his defection in 1951? Pass. Which Prime Minister, in a written answer to a parliamentary question, confirmed that Anthony Blunt had been a spy for Russian intelligence? Uh, Margaret Thatcher. Yes. Which senior CIA official did Philby regularly lunch with after he became the MI6 representative at the British Embassy in Washington, D.C. in 1949? Philby is said to have lured him into disclosing secrets as they drank alcohol. Angleton. Yes. What's the name of the KGB defector who publicly named John Cairncross as the fifth man in 1990? Gordievsky. Yes. On which ship did Burgess and McLean flee Britain in 1951? They went ashore at St. Malo in France and made their way to Moscow via Bern and Prague. Falaise. Falaise is correct. Just the one pass, Alistair. The alias McLean used when he lived in Russia was Mark Fraser. You've scored 12 points. Thank you. And our next contender, please. Your name is? Fee Withers. Your occupation? I'm a primary school teacher. And your chosen subject? Tuve Janssen. Two minutes on the uh, Finnish author most famous for creating the Moomin story, starting now. The first Moomin book by Tuve Janssen was published in the autumn of 1945. What's it called? Um, the Moomins and the Great Flood. Yes. What was the title of the satirical magazine that Janssen contributed to for over a decade? She said that what she liked most about the work was being able to be beastly to Hitler and Stalin. Garm. Yes. What was the name of the left-wing journalist and politician whom she was engaged to in the late 40s but never married? Atos Vertinen. Yes. Janssen illustrated Swedish editions of two works by Lewis Carroll. One was Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. What was the other? The Hunting of the Snark. Yes. What was the name of the Janssen family doctor who suggested to Tuve that she should leave her parents' home and become independent when she was in her late 20s? Dr. Svensson? No, Dr. Gordian, Raphael Gordian. In which daily newspaper did the Moomin comic strip make its first appearance in Britain in 1954? The London Evening Standard. Evening News. What's the name of the house on the island of Bradeshire that Janssen began to build in 1947? Windrose. Yes. What was the name of her uncle in Stockholm who tried to stop her taking food from the larder when she was a small child by telling her a Moomin troll lived in there? <laughs> Einar? Yep. Which Bible story is the subject of the altarpiece that Janssen painted in the early 1950s for a church in Tova in Western Finland? Was it Martha and Mary? It was the Ten Virgins. What was the full name of the graphic artist who was Janssen's lifelong partner from mid-50s? Known as Tuti, she inspired the Moomin character Tutiki. Luiki Pietila? Yes, Tulika Pietila. Which 1960 picture book that consists of 14 verses with 12 lines in each is a tale of Moomin Valley but does not contain any drawings of Moomin trolls? Um... Moomin uh, Valley in November. No, who will comfort Toffle? The Road, the Cat and the Cave are among the chapter titles of a novel about three generations of a family who live on an island in the Gulf of Finland. What is the novel called? The Summer Book. Yes. In 1966, Janssen was given an award that's regarded as the highest international distinction for authors and illustrators of children's books. What award was that? The Hans Christian Andersen Medal. It was indeed. P, you have no passes. You've scored nine points. And our final contender, please. And your name is? Linda King. Your occupation? Retired NHS clinic coordinator. And your chosen subject? It's the Derby, 1955 to 1990. The big horse race run at Epsom that every owner wants to win, even the Queen. 
Two minutes starting now. Who rode his ninth and last derby winner in 1983 on Tunoso, 29 years after his first win in the race? Lester Piggott. Yes. What piece of equipment was used in the derby for the first time in 1967? Starting stalls. Yes. Which owner won three derbies in the space of only four years when Crepello, Hard Ridden and St Paddy triumphed in 57, 58 and 1960 respectively? Sir Victor Sassoon. Correct. Which horse followed up a win in the 2000 Guineas with victory at the 1970 derby? Later that year he would also win the St Ledger. Nijinsky. Yes. Henry Cecil had his second winner in the derby when the favourite, Reference Point, won in 1987. Which other horse had Cecil also trained in that year's race? Pass. Terrimon came second in the 89 race. What odds did he start on? They were the longest in derby history. 500 to 1. Yes. Which horse, written by Yves Saint-Martin, became the first filly since 1916 to be placed in the derby when she finished second behind Grundy in 75? Nobiliary. Yes. The winner's prize money exceeded £200,000 for the first time in 1984 when the race was sponsored commercially by which company? Ever Ready. Yes. 1966 was the only time joint favourite started the race when, with odds of 9 to 2, Pretendre finished second behind Charlottetown. What was the name of the other joint favourite who finished ninth? Right, Noble? Yes. Sugar started the 1981 race as the odds on favourite and set a record breaking winning distance. By how many lengths did he win? 10. Yes. Who rode Secreto to narrowly defeat the Vincent O'Brien trained favourite El Gran Senor in the 1984 derby? Christy Roach. Yes. The 1965 winner is widely considered to be the greatest derby champion of all time and has a time form rating that has only been surpassed in recent years by Frankel. What was his name? Seabird. Yes. Lester Pickett was one of only two English-born jockeys to win the derby in the 60s. Who was the other? Ernie Johnson. Yes. Which appropriately named horse wouldn't line up at the beginning of the 63 race? When the race finally began, the horse was left behind at the start. Take a guess. No, well, I'll tell you. No. Take it as a pass. It was... Hullabaloo. And uh, your other pass, Henry Cecil, had his second win in the derby. The other horse he trained in that year's race was Legal Bid. Oh, Linda, you have 12 points. <laughs> and now it's that time when we invite all of our contenders back into the studio together. And it is the general knowledge round now. Two and a half minutes of questions this time. And if there's a tie at the end of it, then the person with the fewer passes will be the winner. And if they're tied on passes as well, there will be a tie break. And remember, the contenders at this stage in the game don't know what each other has scored. So, for everyone at home, let's have a look at all the scores. As always, we start with the contender with the lower score. So, let me ask the first to return to the black chair, Fee. And uh, it can now be disclosed to the other contenders that you have nine points to start this round. Let's see how you do with your general knowledge. Here we go. What aquatic mammal was Flipper in the 1960s television series of that name set in Coral Key Park, Florida? Dolphin. Yep. Which bone in the human body is also known as the patella? The shoulder blades. Kneecap. What former British Crown Colony became a special administrative region of China on the 1st of July 1997? Hong Kong. Yes. A Birkenhead-born cartoonist who died in 2004 was famous for his drawings of stout little girls and their equally rotund ponies. Who was he? Uh, Halliwell? Thelwell. In tennis, who won a Grand Slam singles title at her 43rd attempt when she beat Simona Halep to claim the Australian Open title in January 2018? Mm, Martina Hinge. No. Caroline Wozniacki. In which California city are Fisherman's Wharf and Alcatraz big tourist attractions? San Francisco. Yes. Thank You, Fog, published in 1974, was the last collection by an English-born poet who settled in America in 1939. What was his name? T.S. Eliot. W.H. Auden. Until the 1917 revolution, rulers of Russia were generally known by a title that is a form of the Latin Caesar. What title? Tsar. Yeah. The symbol of a man and woman in white on a blue background replaced the letters PC on Ordnance Survey maps to show what facility? Toilets? Yeah. 
Which of the apostles is also known as the divine or the evangelist? St John. Yes. What name is given to the large tides that occur just after the new and full moon? Spring tides. Yes. Whose only film as a director was the 1961 western One-Eyed Jacks, in which he also starred as a bandit called Rio? John Wayne. Marlon Brando. In which country did the coffee-based liqueur Kahlua originate? Cuba. Mexico. What word preceded five to form the name of the rockets used to launch the Apollo moon missions? Saturn. Yes. What is the surname of the composers known as Johann the Elder and Johann the Younger, who were both born in Vienna in the 19th century? Strauss. Yes. Which writer, best known for a series of novels set in Botswana, has written the 44 Scotland Street novel set in Edinburgh, where he is an emeritus professor of medical law? McCall. I can't remember his first name. No, it's Alexander McCall Smith. What is the name of the channel that links the Irish Sea with the Atlantic Ocean? It's narrowest between St David's Head in Pembrokeshire and Carnsaw Point in County Wexford. Mm. The Solent. The St George's Channel. Jim Hawkins is the narrator of a Robert Louis Stevenson adventure story first published in 1883. Which story? Treasure Island. Treasure Island is correct. Feed no passes. You have now a total of 19 points. Thank you. <laughs> and our next contender, please, Sarah, with 11 points. And as you saw there, Sarah, the score to beat as we speak is 19. So here we go, two and a half minutes of general knowledge. In 1937, Walt Disney was presented with a standard size honorary Oscar and seven miniature ones for what film? Snow White and Seven Dwarfs. Yes, the Lodge Canberra is the official residence of the holder of which office? Pass. What colour is at the long wavelength end of the visible spectrum at the opposite end to violet? Red? Yes. Jacques-Louis are the four names of an artist noted for his depictions of historical events who became Napoleon's official court painter in 1804. Which artist? Pass. What is the name of the British author of Japanese heritage who won the 2017 Nobel Prize for Literature for his novels of great emotional force? Pass. Which record-breaking tennis player was born in the Swiss city of Basel in August 1981? Roger Federer. Yes. What fruit first brought to the Caribbean from West Africa in the 18th century is served with salt fish to make Jamaica's national dish? Mango. Aki. What is the title of the 1984 television drama series that was based on Paul Scott's The Raj Quartet? Passage to India. A Jewel in the Crown. In which of Shakespeare's comedies do Oberon and Titania, the king and queen of the fairies, appear? Midsummer Night's Dream. Yes. What name is given to the area of wetlands and inland waterways in Norfolk that are popular for boating holidays? The Broads. Yes. What is the informal name of the US Navy Strike Fighter Tactics Instructor Programme? It's the title of a film that stars Tom Cruise. Top Gun. Yep. In Greek mythology, who was made to fall in love with his own reflection after he rejected the love of the nymph Echo? Narcissus? Yes. Which King of England is best known as one of the princes who may have been murdered in the Tower of London in 1483? Pass. What name is given to Chopin's waltz in D-flat major, opus 64, number one, because of the time it supposedly takes to play it? 432? The Minute Waltz. What British actor won his only Academy Award for his supporting role in the 1970 film Ryan's Daughter as the slow-witted Michael? Pass. What musical instrument that was introduced to Hawaii in around 1879 takes its name from the Hawaiian for jumping flea? Ukulele? Yes. Which English naval hero lost his right arm during an assault on the island of Tenerife in July 1797? Nelson? Yes. Hair from an animal is used to make the wigs traditionally worn by some members of the legal profession in Britain. What animal? Pass. Two of NASA's space shuttles were named after ships that took part in Captain Cook's expeditions. Endeavour was one. What was the other? Challenger. Discovery. You had six passes. It's a horse hair that you used to make judges' wigs. Sir John Mills was the British actor who won the uh, Academy Award for the 1970 film Ryan's Daughter. Edward V was the King of England, best known as one of the princes who may have been murdered in the Tower of London. The name of the British author, Japanese heritage, Kazuo Ishiguro. The surname of that artist was David, who became Napoleon's official court painter, and the Lodge Canberra is the official residence of the Australian Prime Minister. You now have a total, Sarah, of 20 points. <laughs> and next in the chair is Alistair. 
And you start out, Alistair, with 12 points. Score to beat now is 20. Here we go. Which garden bird, often pictured on Christmas cards, topped a pole to name Britain's national bird in 2015? Robin. Yes. Which city hosted the Olympic Games in 1896 and 2004? Athens. Yes. In the UK, royal babies are traditionally baptised with holy water from a Middle Eastern river. Which river? Galilee. Jordan. A term used in physics for a quantity equal to the mass of a body times its velocity is also used more widely for any dynamic forward motion or impetus. What term? Acceleration. Momentum. Which city's tourist attractions include the Hagia Sophia, the Blue Mosque and the Topkapi Palace Museum? Istanbul. Yes. What English surname indicates that an ancestor was a maker or seller of arrows? Fletcher. Yes. In the British Armed Forces, the bugle call played at military funerals and acts of remembrance is also the second of two calls to retire at night. What's it called? Last Post. Yes. Which rock star won critical acclaim for his role as a retired rock star called Turner in the 1970 cult film Performance? Mick Jagger. Yes. In mythology, the three deities, Alecto, the unceasing in anger, Megera, the jealous one, and Sephoni, the avenger of murder, are collectively known as what? The Furies. Yes. The ancient region of Pomerania is now split between Germany and which neighbouring country? Austria. Poland. What is the common alternative name of the plant Belladonna, whose shiny black berries are extremely poisonous? Deadly nightshade. Yes. Which salad dressing is named after a group of islands in the St. Lawrence River that straddle the Canadian and American border? Thousand Island dressing. Yes. What play by Beaumarchais, set in Spain, has been adapted for an opera by Paisiello in 1782 and Rossini in 1816? Uh, Tosca. The Barber of Seville. What was the name of the Austrian Archduke who ruled Mexico as emperor from 1864 until his execution in 1867? Jimenez. Maximilian. A Kerry Blue is a breed of which domestic animal? Sheep. Dog. In what word by Jonathan Swift is the title character referred to as Quinbus Flestrin, meaning Great Man Mountain, by the diminutive inhabitants of the island where he is shipwrecked? Gulliver's Travel. Yes. In what professional activity is the measuring device known as a Gunter's or Gunter's chain commonly used? Survey. Yes. Which radio presenter took over as host of the Radio 4 music quiz Counterpoint in 2008? Uh, Chris Evans. Paul Gambaccini. Which cape in eastern Florida is the main site of NASA space and satellite launches? Canaveral. Cape Canaveral is correct. You had no passes. Your total now, Alistair, is 24 points. <laughs> and finally, our last contender, Linda. And uh, you start out with 12 points as well, Linda. But the score's now gone up to 24. Let's see if you can beat that and get through to the semi-final. Here we go. In 1969, Johnny Cash had his first UK top ten hit with the song A Boy Named... Sue. So. Yes. What is the name of the voluntary organisation founded in 1953 by the Reverend Chad Vara to befriend those in need of emotional support? Samaritans. Yes. Which British political party was led by Neil Kinnock and John Smith between 1983 and 94? Labour. Yes. William Morris led a late 19th century aesthetic movement that championed the values of individual workmanship in an age of increasing mass production. What was it called? Arts and crafts. Yes. What name is given in plant anatomy to the male or fertilising part of a flowering plant that can consists of a filament and an anther. Stamen? Yes. Which biblical mountain in eastern Turkey is known as Agridaji in Turkish? Ararat. Yes. Who composed the music and lyrics to the perennial seasonal hit White Christmas? It first became famous when it was featured in the 1942 film Holiday Inn. Irving Berlin. Yes. Who said as he received the BBC Sports Personality of the Century Award in 1999, I had a great time boxing, I enjoyed it. And I may come back. Muhammad Ali. Yes, which poem by Rupert Brooke contains the lines, There is some corner of a foreign field that is forever England. The soldier. Yes, what type of animal is Napoleon in George Orwell's dystopian satire Animal Farm? A pig. Yes, in 1992, Dame Stella Remington became the first female director general of what counterintelligence organisation? MI5. Yes, which dramatist had his first success with the play French Without Tears, which premiered in the West End in 1936? Terence Rattigan. Yes. In which country does the E69, mainland Europe's northernmost major highway, extend from Oldefjord up to North Cape? Pass. About what battle of 1815 did the Duke of Wellington say, it has been a damn nice thing, the nearest run thing you ever saw in your life? 
Waterloo. Yes, Portree is the principal town on which Hebridean island? Shetland. Sky. What is the common name of trees of the genus Quercus? Oak. Yes, what name is given to the spicy, moist ginger cake chiefly associated with Yorkshire and Lancashire and often served at bonfire night parties? Parkin. Yes, the films of which director include A Man for All Seasons, From Here to Eternity and High Noon? Fred Zinnemann. Yes, Bartolomeo Cristofiori is generally credited with the invention of an instrument that he developed around the start of the 18th century. Which instrument? Violin. No, piano. In what London Square, the former home of the American Embassy, are there statues of Franklin D. Roosevelt, Dwight D. Eisenhower and Ronald Reagan? Barclay Square? Grosvenor Square. You had one pass, that country where the E69 runs is Norway. Yeah. Doesn't matter though, because you have now, Linda, a total of 28 points and you are the winner. She pulled ahead in the end. Let's have a look at all of those scores. In fourth place, 19 points, Fee. Third place, 20 points, Sarah. Second place, 24 points, Alistair. First place with 28 points, Linda. And she goes through to the semi-finals. If you would like to be a contender in the next series, do go to our website, bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind, and you can follow us on Twitter at mastermindquiz. And do join us again next time for more masterminds. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.